Here are some of my top 5 tricks for kayak fishing. Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Hybrid Killer with Out of Work Outdoors and today I will be revealing some of my top five tips that helped me throughout my kayak fishing career. We've been fishing kayak, me and my brother Connery have been fishing kayaks for four years and um, he won one state championship, I won one state championship, I and mean, came close a bunch of times and I won three angler of the year. So to back up with some tips, you know, um, we're just gonna give you, you know, situations and stuff that every day helps you guys on the water. Um, like when you show up to a lake and not having any practices, you know, what to do and how to get through the day and try to stay in the money. So like you show up to a lake and you don't know what's going on, right? So first thing you do is you want to determine how deep you could fish. And that's number one. Determine how deep or how sh how shallow you can fish. I mean everybody fishes shallow and they Will just pretty much cover the shoreline with their favorite baits But the water clarity usually determine how deep you could fish and The clearer the water the deeper you could fish So for example if you if you find like water clarity that are like five feet deep and you can see the bottom at five feet deep you probably want to times that by like two and a half because fish will tend to live as deep as they can and still be able to see with the light penetration with the sun. So keep that in mind. Yeah, like and subscribe uh, and mash that notification bell because there's a bunch of video coming your way. And if you watch this far, I'm pretty sure you guys like the, like the video so far. So hit that subscribe button and we'll continue to number two. So for number two, you gotta determine what like water column depth you wanna fish at. You got you want to divide your water column to three different sections, top, middle, and bottom. So for, for top, you want to throw like a top water lure or just like a subsurface lure. Like even a frog is a top water lure. So baits like that, you want to cover in the morning and you know, maybe there's a top water bite. So those are good for in the morning. For mid depth or spinning fish, you want to throw something like a jerk bait or a swim bait to target those mid depth fish or middle column fish. And those fish tend to, are the hardest fish to catch, but you can still catch it with them baits. And for the bottom, everybody throws bottom bouncing baits, like from a jig to a, a worm, to even like a crankbait that just knocks the bottom crawling over rocks. Those baits will catch fish on the bottom. So you just gotta determine which day or where the fish is feeding or where are they staging or are they suspending? Are they feeding up top or are they pushing, pinning fish to the bottom? Those are the three different columns you gotta keep in mind that what baits you gotta throw for any particular day. For number three is lure color. Um, every day we're out there, we're faced with different conditions, weather conditions and um, different colors are to attack those different conditions. So you want white for cloudy days, more like a natural color like this for sunny days. Or also muddy water, you want start chews. Maybe in the spring or dirty water, you want red. But keep your color simple. Uh, for frogs, I throw yellow, white, and black. Mainly those are my three colors. For worms, I throw, I mean, for all your plastic, not just worm, you keep like a red, cause that's a worm, but a black and a green pumpkin. Same with your jigs, you can really live on two jig color, a green pumpkin and a black and blue. Number four is covering water. Covering water means you fish either down the bank and cover a ton of water, or you stay in one spot like on a point and you fish the three different types of water column we mentioned earlier. So you fish the top, middle, and bottom with different baits. That is also covering water this way, not this way. For example, uh, one of my Tuesday night event, it was a big bass only event and um, there was like 28 people there that day. And we mean me and my, we, we came from pond fishing and this is my first kayak tournament. 
So I didn't have a lot of gears. I mean, I got like three rods, a fluke tied on with a Cinco and a frog. So all I did was cover water with a frog and I got one bite. It was only a little 14 incher, but it won big bass of the day because everybody skunked. It was a tough day. The other 28 guys skunked. So I won with one fish. So that's my first tournament. But I fished pretty much the whole lake with a frog and I won. So that's one of my examples. And then another example is when you find a pattern, you could skip a lot of other stuff. Like if maybe the fish are on big rocks and not little rocks, just skip all the big rock. I mean, I'll skip all the small rocks and just fish those big rocks. So for example, another example is when me and Conry went down to Texoma to fish the border challenge between Oklahoma and Texas, but uh, Conry ran into a whopper popper bite and Whopper Popper was hot that year because it just came out. But the Whopper Popper bite that Conry ran into, they were only hitting on mainly uh, lake points with big rocks. So what Conry did was he ran six miles one way, just covering, fishing all the points he can with all those big rocks. And he would just fish everything that looks good and just skip the rest. So covering water could mean Either you fish different columns or just run a bunch of water that you like. And number five is never give up. Um, you gotta be mentally strong and you gotta keep it between your ears. Confidence is the biggest role of fishing. Um, if you just lose confidence in a spot, just switch to a different spot and you'll gain a new confidence and even changing up to a different baits, you bring more confidence. So for example, um, this year, I won my tournament on Wontumpka. Um, I, I met up with Conry around like 9 o'clock, and I, I got, what, two fish? Uh, uh, one that's like almost 19 inches and one for 17 and a half inches. And I was talking to Conry on the water, and Conry was like, Oh, yeah, one of our buddy caught five fish this morning on frogs. And I was like, man, what a lucky day. But for us... Um, well, mainly for me, it was it was a tough day, so I had to wait until the wind picked up for my deep warm bite to work, and then I ran across the lake trying to put a frog frog bite pattern going on oh, together, but um, I stumbled across two little guys, two little 15 inches, and then I ran across to a different spot on the lake because I ran out of confidence, and then I landed a big 22 and a quarter inches. So with my three, with those five fish, I was like, huh, I got a good chance to win. And I checked the leaderboard and one of my other buddy, he was at like 92 inches. So I'm like, well, I think I'm going to lose. But if I catch two more good 17 incher, then I'll definitely get the win. So for the last two hours, there's when the men mentality comes in, kicks in. Um, I know my, my frog bite is... You have to twitch your frog twice and let it pause for like two to five seconds and twitch it twice. But I got to cover most of that lake and I was fishing really fast, but at the same time fishing as slow as I can. So I run to a different spot, throw in there five, like one time, twitch it, pause it, twitch it again, pause it, wait for the bite. If not really in and make another cast like five feet to the left or to the right. And um, the whole time the kayak was moving, but for me, I just know I had to cover that the whole lake or the whole section of the lake to get that last two bites. And I did catch to two seventeens, and I was like, yes, I think I have a good chance to win. But you never know in fishing, you might lose with the last at the last five minutes. So I left myself with thirty five minutes. So I pedaled all the way back to the boat ramp where one of my brush piles was at and I threw my worm in there and I caught a 20 to call out one of my 17s, which ended up, ended me up in 96 and a quarter inches winning the tournament. But that last fish was caught within the last 10 minutes. So you don't, you never want to give up because if that guy would have caught a fish within the last five minutes and he was bleeding already, with another 20 incher, then he would have won. So never give up. And when you're out there, have fun. 
And those are my top five tips for kayak fishing. If you got any other tips, drop them in the comment below. Like, share, and subscribe our, our channel to get more videos coming up. And match that notification bell because we got a bunch of video coming out your way. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, but stop preloading. We need you guys to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell. And be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And we'll see you guys on the next one.